right, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Molly Malone. I didn't practice this one on the ook at all, so I hope I do all right. <laughs> all right, let's see what the chords are. Let me make sure I got them right. Well, good luck to me. Uh, in Dublin's fair city, where the girls are so pretty, I first laid my eyes on sweet Molly Malone. Pushed a wheelbarrow through the streets broad and narrow, singing cockles and mussels. Alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, singing cockles and mussels. Alive, alive, oh. Okay, that's it. You need a C chord, first string, third fret. You need an A minor chord, fourth string, second fret. Uh, you're going to need a D minor. You can leave your finger right there. Uh, fourth string, second fret, third string, second fret, second string, first fret. That's my D minor. Then I'm going to leave my first finger right down where it is on the second string, first fret for my G sevens next. Third string and first string, second fret in the open fourth string. That's my G seven. Uh, the only thing else I need is a D seven. Fourth string, second fret, second string, second fret. That's my D seven chord. All right, it's in 3-4 time, so our strum is going to be down, down, up, down, up, just like that, down, down, up, down, up, and you're going to do that for every measure except for one measure that crops up every once in a while. We'll show you how to do that when we get there. So a C chord, you're going to go down, down, up, down, up, A minor, D minor to the G7, C to A minor, D7 to a G7, C to A minor, D minor to G7, C to an A minor, and here's our tricky part, D minor, you're going to go down, down, up, then a G7 quick, down, and that's it, and then C, that's your verse, and then the chorus goes alive, alive, that's a C to an A minor, D minor to G7, C chord to A minor, then the D minor, whoops, sorry, down, down, up, G7 quick, Okay, we'll go over it again. All right, uh, so you got all your chords and you got your strum pattern, and that one tricky measure is a D minor. It's down, down, up, G7 once, and then and you're off. Okay, so there's a verse and then a chorus. Then it does a verse and a chorus again, and a verse and a chorus again, three times in a row, and then you can repeat that chorus at the end, the alive, alive, oh, as many times as you want. Singing cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. You know, you can get the whole, you know, bar, congregation, wherever you're singing this. Get them all together in the party. Singing this over and over again. All right. So we got everything we need. Let's go over it one more time. You got to, this is the verse, the C. And every pattern is down, down, up, down, up, except for that one measure. So, uh. I'm not going to sing this time, I'm going to, I'll sing the melody, you know, like as I'm yelling out the chords. So you got a C to an A minor, D minor to G7, C to A minor, then the D7 to the G7, C to A minor, D minor to G7, C to A minor, and then D minor, G7, C. That's the verse, and then the chorus comes right in with C to A minor, D minor to G7, C to A minor, and then D minor, G7, C. And at this point, like if you're, going to re if you're repeating, um, you might want to hang on that C a little bit. Give yourself a breath before you start again, because it goes right back into it. And uh, most performers take, take a little time there to get, the, get their act together. So, all right. Play more ook. Please hit the like button. Hit hit subscribe. You know you want to do it. And uh, practice.